Hi, my name is John Augustus Nangitay Bangkikyo from Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Second Year, Section B. And I am here to present the graphical representation of ungrouped data. First, we have line graph. A line graph is a type of chart used to show information that changes over time. We plot line graphs using several points connected by straight lines. We also call it a line chart. The line graph comprises of two axes known as x-axis and y-axis. The horizontal axis is known as the x-axis. Therefore, the y-axis is known as the vertical axis. We can clearly see here from the example produced sales in thousands US dollars that x or the horizontal axis shows the month and date of a particular product sales. And sa atin namang y-axis or pataas na axis, which is called the vertical axis, ay mahita ang amount earned in a particular date or time. At simpleng-simpleng pinapakita ang pagpagsak at pagtaas ng sales from October 2019 to June 2020. That is why it is currently According to my research, the most used chart or graph there is because it is believed to be simple and more reliable than bar graph and pie chart na meron pa. Next is bar graph. A bar graph or bar chart is a chart or graph that represents categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or lengths proportional to the values that they represent. The bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally. A vertical bar chart is sometimes called a column chart. Bar graphs are extremely effective visual to use in presentation and reports. Bar and line graph are almost similar in perspective. They both have vertical and horizontal plots to determine the data being provided. Sa tingin ko ay bar graph ang pinaka-effective way ng representation of data. Because it can clearly show the details of a particular data dahil meron siyang kulay to differ different specifications of data being provided. And it can clearly provide needed information in just a simple and colorful presentation. We can simply tell that apples and blueberries are chosen to be the nicest fruits according to this bar graph just by comparing its bar heights and color. Lastly, we have pie chart. A pie chart is a circular statistical graph which is divided into slices to illustrate numerical proportions in a pie chart. The arc length of each slice is proportional to the quantity it represents. So, for example, pizza or pie are perfect representation of pie charts, which are commonly used in budgeting, time spent in a day, or time management plans. It is also the main chart for ratio, proportion, and any types of division. It is a much different approach on data analysis and has different perspectives than line and bar graph, which are almost identical. So, kaiba siya sa dalawang naunang graph or chart. Dahil una sa lahat, bilog siya at wala siyang mga linya-linya. And yes, a perfect representation is pi, which is in the name pi chart itself. At it ay commonly na ginagamit sa paghahati-hati ng mga specific data na inirepresent. And it is mostly for budgeting, gaya nga sinabi ko. At kung meron tayong plano, meron tayong pupuntahan or gagawin is Pwede natin gamitin yung pie chart para mahati-hati yung time time natin or shortly it is for time management purpose then. And as we can see here from our illustrative example from the population of countries of the European Union in 2007 by percentage, is makikita natin yung hati or dami ng population in just this simple pie chart. Makikita natin yung pinakamalawak na nasakop sa pie chart is yung may pinakamadami. Simple as it is, uh, maintindihan na natin agad yung pagkakaiba ng mga data na nare-represent ng bawat pie or graph na ating makikita. And that's all. Thank you for watching. Thank you.